Huh? I posted it in the general chat. Oh. Ah. Uh, Alright, bro. Of course, I'm using it against you, nigga. If you think you're being unappreciative, I'm gonna remind, I'm gonna remind you who gave birth to you. I don't give a fuck if you remember everything I did for you. You better show it. Because you was never off the hook to begin with. It's a privilege being a part of a server that saved your life. Alright, I read this one. I'm gonna post it. How many of these are there, nigga? Because I didn't even read every one of those when you posted these shits. Well, it's a good thing I'm posting them now. You're gonna read everything. Alright, read, read the next one. A nigga, if a nigga saved my life plenty of times, I'm rubbing it in my... Him rubbing it in my face is the least of my concerns. Nigga, I saved your life. I have every right to rub it in your face because it's a big deal. I don't just randomly rub it in your face either. I try to humbly do what I'm asked to do. But when you start acting ungrateful, I have to remind you who you came from. You regretted dropping me last year after giving me a hard time. You regretted dropping all the people you loved and then came back apologizing. Where you were... And when you were being... No, when you were so down bad after being free from me, nigga, you lucky I took you back. Be grateful. I'm not being in your face because the shit could be a whole lot worse. William, William, let me ask you this. Let's say you're doing CPR to save your friend's life. I'm not saying you shouldn't really brag about it. What happens if your friend starts with you after that hell? I don't think you should even be starting with the person that saved his life. He should treat me how I treated him when I saved his life. It could be any kind of fight. Argument, physical, etc. You need to see if he are to save your friend's life. Would you do? What would you do if he starts to with you right after? Bitch, I just saved your life. I know leaving you and not taking advice and didn't work out for, for me in 2021, but let's give it another try in 2022 because I hate being reminded that I'm not the top dog. Like who in their right mind would rather stop taking my advice and suffer unimaginably? And take my advice, even if it annoys them a lot. This is not what Andrew Tate got himself banned for. You know, these Andrew Tate videos and turn around and act like the very bitches he roasts in his videos. I show speed is never gonna fix. I'm gonna spend hours fixing your bullshit. Who the fuck is KV Nat? I say KV Nat, so whatever his name. I don't even fucking know how to pronounce that nigga's name. The fucking YouTuber. KC Nat, whatever yeah, he's his that name. Wait, I have what? no idea who that is. Who the fuck is that? I'm not, I don't even know who that nigga is. Main, it's one of the mainstream YouTubers that everybody watches. Guy that says who is. So you're like, you know who I've he is? I've never heard of that. Uh, yeah, I've never heard of that nigga. He's the W. Yeah, that's crazy. Release, you would never care enough to spend quality time with you. Corey X Kenshin, you nigga didn't even spell his name right. Yeah, you, you gotta watch them, nigga. Um, that's why. I'll never sit down with you and give you life-changing advice. You're already grown ass man. He doesn't watch like fucking YouTubers for kids. Yeah, I watch shit at the end of the No, no, nah, nah, nigga. Nah, he did watch Berlin, you know. That's why he spelled that nigga's name right. He did watch Berlin. Yeah, way back when I was like your age. Or some oh, shit like yeah. That. There's something I want to see. Nah, you just reminded me. There's something I want to talk to you about after this. Alright. Yeah, I used to watch Berlin, like high school and shit. But he don't really make that kind of content no more. He's playing games and shit, so I don't watch him no more. Nah, yeah. but at least he's cool, though. Nah, but at least his gaming is cool, though. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. His gaming videos is cool. It's cool. Hey, I know you're my superior because you give me advice every day, but how do I fix... How do I give you advice on how to fix shit I originally destroyed? Them? Then that means we're even. People who think like this are fucking crackheads. Um, Early, uh, but after I don't argue this thing, he's saying he won't take a bus from me anymore. You know, I'm gonna go to my bus, right? It's just like I seen gay band. He thinks I didn't notice, but I, oh, he's only saying that shit because I want to give him one cookie or not when he had a rough day and he knows how much I love giving him and everyone else advice. So taking that away is the con tactic to combat my superiority of him. He thinks I didn't notice, but I did. I have no idea. It's one of the many things you copy me. Yeah. Hey, uh, read it again. Your uh, your mic was lagging out, dude. Oh. And stop jacking my fucking lingo. All you do is copy me. Stop fucking remixing everything I say. 
I made it up. Now you come up with your shit. You have no idea. It's one of the many things you copy. Damn. And you won't drag my shit to tell me how to act. You can't surpass the originator. Niggas imitate, but if they fail to replicate, or not me, you'll never not be me. You'll never be actual speed. Stop fucking copying me. Even if you did. Uh, you said it again because you heard me say it in the moment, which means you copied me. Stop piggybacking off my intelligence if you're just gonna insult it by arguing with me instead of being an obedient shit. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. this is a very definition of deflection, and you know how I feel about half assed apologies. I'm not saying you were feeling your job, putting you and holding you accountable, and you're superior in my, and elder in my job, but you're also in your place in your job. But he told you to scream at me. I, no, I do the screaming, not you, not your place. Oh, my soul, you're not gonna get anyway. I know she is your defiance. So let me finish what I gotta do. You were trying to match my energy. I sound, I also sound like this because I don't feel good. Well, I sound like low. It's alright. It's alright. I know it's, you know, different seasons and shit. Yeah, bro, my fucking throat hurts so bad. It hurt to talk today. So, I didn't really talk much today. Alright. I think it also hurt because, um, the shit with Wheezy yesterday. Oh, yeah, the roast session? Yeah. The damn shame, man. If he, if he just right. held back on oh, certain God. jokes, I then like, bro, you wouldn't have to read all this shit. I think it was like, wasn't it like about like 20 pages? No. What? Is... Huh? What is he talking about? I Wait, no, you weren't no. there for it, Tyler. Yeah, you, yeah it was like between years as well. So I was like, you know, just hold back on. Oh, yeah. Jokes, then, well, like, what, did, what did he say about the server shit? Because I, I, I'm going to ask you about that. What did Weezy say about the server? Yeah. You know what I'm talking right. about, right? I'm not going to say it because I'm not going to put it, our business out there, but what I, this shit I told you about yesterday, or, or, yeah. Oh, uh, we, um, no, um, he had posted some, some, like, Snapchat shit of him roasting some guy, and he said, like, thanks to the server, I know how to roast this nigga or some shit like that. No, 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 I'm talking about that one that he invited me to. Oh, um, oh, he didn't really speak on it. He just said, my bad. I told people that like it was it was for some video shit, but he tried not to argue. He just said, "My bad." So I was like, "Alright." No, yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to tell on any of you. I thought I thought he told you. That's why I brought it up. Like yeah. that, I just thought he told you. I was waiting for him to argue with me, bro. I would have made him read shit too. Cause that nigga, that nigga, mm. was, like, bro. I wish he would. I wish that nigga would defend himself. Oh my god, bro. Right, let's see. Yeah, that nigga really tried my shit yesterday. That is crazy. I also read. I also read that shit. So I wish. I wish. I wish he would defend himself. It's crazy. Yeah. All right. I read. I read. I read that one. That's nobody. I did. I did. You did? Yeah. All right. Uh. You know what your response only fucking doesn't get you anywhere. So don't come for my yelling. Read it again. Also, I don't know, Anna, I already know what your response is going to be, but then fuck everybody. You've been doing that your entire life, and it doesn't get you anywhere, so don't come for my yelling. You told me not to your drawing is going to be the that you're going to get in response to so many people standing against you. Stop that holding bullshit. Throw some balls. That defense mechanism that you had since childhood never worked. It's not healthy. The minute that I was like, your brain got was hot, why are you going against me because of childhood trauma? Fuck that shit, cut that generational curse, gain awareness of the fact that you are repeating the same mistake twice, twice and listen to me. You might as well drop me. If you drop me, you might as well tell me, because you won't last long without my help. You'll always need me. There's no 
If you drop me again, there's no turning back. Just fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. When you turn 20, you'll need me. Young 30 year old advice. When you turn 30, you'll need 40 year advice. When you turn 40, you'll need 50 year old advice. When you turn 50, you'll need Jesus Christ. If, if not, even I can get through to you. I am irreplaceable. I'm one of a kind. You can't replace me. And God forbid, you always need me. And you'll be t always be tethered to me. I am glory incarnate. Nigga, you are. Okay. Nigga, nigga, glory incarnate is crazy. I am brilliant, and and anyone who recognizes that and wants to learn from me is also brilliant as well. Those who shun reality will die alone with cats, dogs, and gotcha. Like Mooch. Yeah, definitely like oh Mooch was. Well, I'm not even gonna get, don't get started on Mooch. Right? When I read that for the first time on the story. I low key thought you were slowly losing your mind. I've so much in the future. But this is okay. Not emotional, but really girl. You can do all those things you could do over the years. I figure being nice to you was well deserved. Doesn't mean so much sympathy. I'm not in the wrong. You not talking, not talking to the people in preschool. This world is cruel, old and cruel. You don't man up and accept the bitter truth, and my advice will never work on you. I couldn't handle this even or argue with the native that can. Oh, Xbox. That's mine. I am the complete package. If you only copy bits and pieces, it won't work out. Oh, yeah, that part is definitely true. I, I remember that part. That part is definitely like. Right. Can I read this one? <laughs> Uh -huh. You want to copy that part to me not feel good and discard the ones that make you feel bad and it won't work because you don't want to understand why the way I am. You don't have what it takes to be me to get mad at me because you don't understand why I do the things I do. You refuse, so you refuse to agree with me. All right, that was the last one. Sorry, so look, right? So look, so every time, all right, every time I think you're not taking the rules seriously, bro, we're going to have to watch this video and the stream, bro. Cause no, I got it's no not. It's too. literally, bro. Literally, it wasn't that I wasn't taking it seriously, and and this is what it was, bro. Like, sometimes, and this is just like, I don't know if this was recent. I don't really remember, but it, I've known like this is. It didn't start recently, but just I don't really get nervous a lot. But for some reason, I got nervous, and when I get nervous, I try to make light of a situation by joking. So it wasn't that I was like wasn't taking it seriously. It's just that I was really nervous. For some reason, yeah, I know. We gotta work on how you talk because not not everybody's gonna see it that way. They're gonna think you're just being disrespectful, bro. Like, no, so yeah, no, gotta, I, I, hell no, I wasn't being disrespectful. Yeah, hell no, I wasn't being disrespectful. It came off like that. You gotta look at it like this too. You gotta look at it like this. If 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 someone thinks you're not taking shit serious, they're gonna feel like they're wasting their time, and then they're gonna get yeah, they're wasting their breath. It, exactly, and then some shit's gonna go down, and nobody's trying to deal with that fucking stress. So there's nothing you need. You look, making light of a situation. Okay, that's cool. But when you're getting punished, bro, you gotta take that shit. You gotta take that shit. You gotta feel ashamed. If you don't feel ashamed, you're not gonna fucking change. You gotta learn how to take that shit like a man. I don't care about making jokes. No, no. There's there's a time and a place for that shit. Don't don't yeah. fucking do. You know, make light of it. Sometimes you need to feel awkward. Sometimes you need to feel bad because you should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So the next time, you know, the next time, you know, you say, "Yo, yo, yo, what the fuck did I do?" This, that, and the you can just get straight to this video because you should get like, no, no, you don't got. Like, you should know what you did, but even if you don't know what you did, just take that shit. Just take that shit and take whatever comes with it. Don't just say, "Dude, what the fuck did I do?" No, I didn't mean it. No, no, no. Take oh, when I, when I said that, when I said yeah. that earlier, I said that earlier, I was on the bus and I just had one on my phone. But no excuse for that, bro. You just never say that shit for no fucking reason. Exactly. There's no excuse. You, I, saw, I saw a big ass paragraph. I didn't even read it yet. Period. Literally. I shouldn't have put that though before reading it.
What's the point of replying to someone you didn't read, though? You got to read. Oh, I, I, no, really I just said that. No, I know. I just said that. No, I just said that. I said I shouldn't have replied if I didn't read it yet. Right. And just remember, because, like, because, like, this happened because literally yesterday, I'm like, only yesterday. Okay, so I literally warned you, like, mid row session. Okay, don't, don't, don't say this too easy. Don't say this too easy. Don't say that too easy. And you still, like, you were trying to hold back. I know you're trying to hold back, and you still try to, you know, loophole around this shit. Just because I say don't do something doesn't automatically mean loophole. You should know no loopholes, bro. If Weezy leave the call, that's that's not me saying, okay, now tell me what you wanted to say to him. No, no, you should know there's no loopholes for that shit, bro. Fuck that baby from TikTok. Fuck that other motherfucker. I don't even remember what the fuck you posted, but fuck the other shit, bro. There's no what, what did I post? Yeah, what was the shit joke. that I posted? It was like two different things. One of them was that little baby thing. I don't want. Oh my god! And then the like, other thing, the other thing was some other shit. I forgot what you uh, posted. I don't know. No, if it was, oh yeah, no, 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 no. It was like a, it was like a joke about his forehead, and then like you just did that, bro. I'm like, well, it's like what, wait, what was, forehead, what was the forehead? What was the forehead shit? What did I say about his forehead? I don't even, what did I say about that? I don't even remember it, but like, look, I, but look. You probably said something about joke. Him, I know the forehead joke about Weezy forehead. I'm not, bro, bro. You know, bro. You know, y'all chilling that forehead shit, bro. You know that nigga, is, man, I bro. I, but that's my thing, though. That nigga can't get mad because how the fuck you gonna call me a failed abortion and then get mad when I talk about his big ass forehead? That's what I'm saying, like, nigga. Okay, so are you a failed abortion? Like, don't. Bro, I don't know, nigga. You know my, my Okay, history. so you don't know for sure. You, so then why the fuck are you going to take offense to that? It's like, okay, so let's say you aren't. What's offensive about that? You're not a failed abortion, so why are going to get mad about no, that? It's not about true. Nigga what the fuck? I know some shit not true. Like, I won't be mad. Yeah, about like, you something not true, I'm going to get bothered. Okay, maybe I'll get a little irritated, but nothing is as bad. Yeah, okay. We actually... I'm not even about to finish that sentence. Never mind. Keep going, fellas. Yeah, like, nigga, you defend yourself right now. You see, I'm being generous right now because it's the first time. But if this was me pissed, I would have made you read this whole shit again. You just talking about some, yo, That's crazy. this nigga Weezy did this, that, this, that, there. So I no. do, no, no, no. He you just know. Okay, spectate. And, and look, and look, you was you was probably going to spectate and have me and Weezy one on one. That's cool. But he came no, for you. That's to. cool. Yeah, no, exactly. No, exactly. But the you know, thing is, you gotta learn how to, you know, control yourself, my nigga. Like nobody want to hear this other fucked up shit. You know, like bro, bro. If you gotta resort to fucking, get, you know, messed up shit, you can't roast, man. You gotta learn how to fucking roast moderately instead of saying some fucked up shit, bro. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not laughing at you. My fault. I'm laughing because I just noted what I said to him yesterday about his sticky ass dress. Oh yeah, see, 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 that shit was funny because you know. Stanky ass dreads, that's not some fucking ailment. That's not some fucking condition, bro. You can roast somebody's stink ass hair, but, but nigga, they roast his forehead like that. They you know that shit. Like that. You know that shit. That nigga never be washing his hair. That nigga don't know what the fuck shampoo is. The fuck around with that stink ass nigga. Like, damn. No. Uh, for real. Why did, did that nigga leave? Or did that nigga have a good reason for leaving yesterday? That nigga left mid roast session. <laughs> Oh, um, he kind of broke it down, but not to me personally, but, you know, it's some shit. Uh, he talked about it in the general chat, I think, or in the event chat. Uh, you oh, know, was his, it? His, uh, I, mean, I was actually going to spectate. I wasn't even going to get involved. That nigga just started coming at me for no reason. Pause. Yeah, yeah that's the part you got to defend like, yourself and just say, fuck you and stink ass dress. But don't say, fuck you and that fat ass forehead. He them, bro, nobody want to hear that shit. No, I didn't. I didn't. I said that that nigga looked like Travis Scott. You see, yeah. See, like, see, see that shit is funny. That see, that's that's what I'm talking about. That shit is good, but don't fucking say, nigga, your toe is big as fuck. You, you like Bigfoot, fat head. <laughs> no, don't say that bullshit, bro. <laughs> or like, no, or, no, or, or, or like, or like, that. or like, or like, if you said, if I said something like that, his his forehead built like a big toe. Yeah, or some shit like that. Yeah, but don't say some other fucked up shit, bro. So look, I'm gonna post this shit. I'm this video, bro. We keep on doing this, bro. It's gonna be public. Everybody's gonna see it. You gotta chill, bro. You gotta chill. There's no more fucking chances for this shit. I'm gonna have to get tougher on you if I have to, cause this shit is out of pocket. <laughs> all right. Yo, uh, come to the niggas, shit. All right.